Alright you guys, so three hours later, I've got a wait certificate. Half one, can we get it done by half three? <laughs> Completely stranded <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Ran out of petrol. Welcome back to day three on the Salvage Nation vlog over here in Barbados. We got a ton of work to do. I'm currently in the little Abarth. I showed it to you guys in the last vlog. Well, because we've just got the car, I need to get it registered and I need to get it taxed. Over here, they do it slightly differently. In the UK, you go over to the post office and you just get it all done. Um, and it's a very simple process. Over here, you have to take the car to the licensing authorities, get the car weighed. Um, I'll step out, they'll weigh it. There's a lot of stuff that they need to do. It's a completely different process. I'll try to film as much of it as possible, but I want to get the car fully road legal and then we're going to be heading to the track. So let's crack on with day three on the Salvage Nation vlog over at Barbados I hope you're enjoying it let go so guys it's getting a little bit toasty in here but anyway after cooling down we made it down to the weigh bridge where the car is going to be weighed and there you go all right you guys so three hours later I've got a weight certificate I've got some other bits and bobs and some other paperwork to sort out next we go on let's continue So guys, it's 1.30 in the afternoon here. I'm on a mad dash. I need to go to get the car insured. After the car is insured, I need to make it back down to licensing and authorities. <laughs> There's so much, but anyway, it's a bank holiday today. Everything closes at 3 p.m. I've got a track day booked on Sunday. If I don't get it done today, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but yeah. Half one, can we get it done by half three? Half three by 3 p.m. guys 3 p.m. So yeah guys look completely stranded <laughs> in the middle of nowhere ran out of petrol so boy don't think I'm gonna make it to the registration but at least we can get insurance so let's continue think we can make it D <laughs> in the middle of nowhere should it bush So if the car refueled, we are on the way again and we have to go into the insurance office. It's a little bit different. There's no online quotes and that. You literally go see the management and you get insurance. So here we are. All right, you guys, so about an hour later, I've got my insurance. That can go there. Let's continue. So if the car insured, I sorted a set of temporary plates just to get me to track day. But first we need to do some mods. And as you can see, we got the car up. I want to give it a little bit more of a grunt. And trust me, the only way to do that is to remove the exhaust rear box. Whilst the car was there, we dropped in a new panel filter to give better airflow and we were ready to do some testing. If you've driven one of these little lap baths already, you know it's got a nice deep tone, but we made it sound 10 times better. I was happy, it was pulling good, it was driving good. The air filter made somewhat of a difference and listen, it's time to hit the track, so let go. The next day I met up with a few friends and we made our way to the track. They're driving a couple of Nissan 350 and 370Zs. Check them out, listen to that, it sounds crazy, right? 
After a short drive, we made it to Bushy Park Raceway in Barbados. Listen, as soon as I got there, I noticed some of my subscribers. So if you're watching this, good looking man. It was nice to meet you, look. Now this was a free for all event, so it was completely packed. After fueling up, I went to enjoy and just take in the atmosphere. And as you can see, we missed the first streetcar run, but these guys were having lots of fun. This is a drifter, I'll show you him later. And this is me just getting familiar with the track. Now as you can see the Drifter boys are out and this guy's called Big Bob. Big Bob came in and did his thing man, check this out. Literally every corner was getting drifted and he demanded the entire track for himself But I was getting excited because I was heading out next because it was the time for the street cars You see right, but well, we can't pass, we block it cool. And with that it was finally time to get the little lap off onto the track This is actually quite intimidating because it's quite small But I'm happy to say that little lab bath held its own. Check it out. Now there were two main cars that were completely just outpacing everyone and we couldn't compete with them. But for everyone else in the back, I would have to say I was kind of leading the way. Um, as you can see, that little Suzuki Swift just passed me, um, but I knew I had them in the corners and there I go, I was gone again. And yeah, this little LaBarth has performed so well on the day. I was really happy. There's Trey in his Nissan 350Z. He's doing his thing. Everyone's getting around the track and we're just having tons of fun, man. This is now the second run out. And there we go, Trey's trying to drift it around. Um, yeah, he done all right, he done all right. There you go, that's the second run completed. We had tons of fun. Here's Big Bob in his completely custom made drift car. And then it was time to let some of my other friends in that go have a bit of fun in the cars, let them enjoy themselves. And I took over the camera work. But guys, listen, this day ended up being one of the best days that I've had over here. And believe me, we're gonna be back with something bigger, better, more powerful, and you're gonna be here for it. Alright you guys, so I am back in the UK. I was in for a shock. <laughs> I came back in shorts and a t-shirt thinking it's springtime, it's gonna be all right, but it was freezing. So I've got my hat, I've got my jacket, and I'm back. But before we wrap up, I wanna show you this bad boy in a little bit more detail because Valentino from VPEX Trims, he did an amazing job on the prototype steering wheel. And I just wanna show you what this is all about, why I'm so gassed, why I'm so happy. So check it out. So guys, if you're new, this is my prototype steering wheel. I actually made this steering wheel. This was an old crusty wheel that we had lying around in the garage. I ended up ordering all the parts that I needed. I got it installed and then I handed it over to my guy Valentino from VPEX Trims who did an amazing job on the finish. And unlike the standard ones, this is a full color LCD display and it just looks amazing. So guys, there you have it. I want to give another shout out to my guy Valentino. Like he done such an amazing job on the steering wheel. I'm very happy with it. And now I can really push forward and get this car finished because I've got big plans for this little M140 and I've got a new build coming and I still need to update you guys on the BMW 2 Series. I need to hand that over to my family member. Actually, I'll tell you who it is. It's for my little sister. So um, I'm going to meet up with my little sister, show her the completed job. I've got it right over there. It's completed. It looks amazing. That car came out sick. So stay tuned for for the next episode let me know what you guys want to see on salvage nation i feel like i've come back with a fresh slate after all the crap that was going on before um it was just really nice to go over see my friends and family and just literally have some chill time guys it's very important um a lot of you guys don't know this but before doing youtube i used to work for the nhs i used to work in mental health i did a lot of work around psychology and mental ill health etc etc so i understand sometimes i always say keep it moving however when things get to be a lot or 
are too much, you do need to take a break. And that's what I just did. So like I said, just let me know what you guys want to see moving forward. I'm open to any and all suggestions. I've still got the Mark V Golf. If you want to see some more content on that, I still need to complete that car. I've got a whole bunch of little builds that I need to complete. Do you want to see a new build? Let me know what you want to see. So with that, this is where I'm going to head off. And like I always say, keep it moving and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, why don't you check out one of my previous videos on the left, there's plenty in the playlist. And if you wanna know more about the Salvage game, why don't you become a member of Salvage Nation and I'll be there to guide you along the way. And don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram if you wanna get an inside scoop before YouTube.